Good morning from Rose Valley Lake in northern Lycoming County, Pennsylvania. Today is January 4th, 2022, about 8.30 in the morning, and the lake froze overnight. As we pulled in, the car thermometer said 13 degrees Fahrenheit, but there's hardly any wind, so it really doesn't feel that bad with the sunshine. Hey everyone, this is David Brown from Lyco Birds, and I'm out with my brother Bobby. And there's not too many birds that we've had so far. There are some ducks, there's a few little open patches of water left, some mallards with a few black ducks mixed in. Uh, there's a male common merganser by itself. And then there's a male bufflehead that's with a second duck. Not quite sure yet if it's another bufflehead or if it's a hooded merganser. We're gonna have to take a closer look at that one. It's such a beautiful morning to be out. Right now we're at the South Boat Launch, which is a good place to start birding. Um, the nice thing about the lake here is there's various boat ramps and um, really around three sides of the lake, you have different vantage points to scope all the, the uh, back corners of the lake pretty well. Okay, the mystery duck finally pulled her head out and it is indeed a female hooded merganser. We also saw another duck flying, possibly a scop or a ringneck duck, and it was being chased by a bald eagle. So um, we're hoping to get another look at that as we go around the lake. We think it tucked into a different corner. All right, we just moved locations. We're here near the south causeway of the lake, and this is a nice stretch if you walk up the road this way. Um, there's a house with feeders up there, and there's also just a lot of good um, songbird activity right along the road. So we'll head down that way and check it out. All right, we're already getting some activity. Some black-capped chickadees low in the brush, and a nice red-breasted nuthatch up here in these Norway spruce trees. Well, I wish I had had the video running because we just flushed a roughed grouse right out of here. Um, really distinctive loud wing beats when they flush. Also some robins, which was first a year for me. So a nice little birdie stretch in here. Downy woodpecker, red-bellied woodpecker. Yeah, a nice little stretch for birding. All right, walking back towards the car, we just had a yellow-bellied sapsucker and also a hermit thrush although the thrush was too quick for me to get photos. You can still hear him chipping in there though. Also some American crows and a raven. All right, we made our way around the lake and uh, this is a stretch that a northern shrike had been seen really up until the end of the year but I don't think anyone's actually seen it for the new year, so we're hoping to pick that out. Also a lot of goldfinches in this stretch, so, uh, and really good lighting for photographs if we get a look at anything. Got a nice flock of bluebirds here, eastern bluebirds and some goldfinches, uh, probably about 10 or 15 bluebirds. You can hear them chattering. All right, we're back at the car. No luck on the Shrike, but we did have a nice look at a bald eagle and some cedar waxwings and a lot of goldfinches. We're gonna continue around the lake and see what else we can find. All right, we've made our way around to the north side of the lake. We're at what's known as the Big Clay Lot. And there's not a whole lot of birds. The lake is completely frozen up at this end. That's the north boat launch on the other side there. And looking around this way, we have the north causeway. 
but just a really nice morning to be out. The car still says it's only 14 degrees Fahrenheit, but uh, like I said earlier, there's hardly any wind, so it really doesn't feel that bad out. Now we're on the North Causeway, and it's around 10.15 a.m. I was hoping there would start to be some rafters coming up, maybe add a few more species to the list, but so far we haven't seen any. All right, time for us to wrap it up here at Rose Valley Lake. We ended up with more than 30 species, so a good morning overall, and I got a couple of county first of years. All right, it's now 12.30 after lunch, and we're here at Canfield Island to see what birds we can find. Okay, and right away we found a little flock of yellow rumped warblers, which is a species that's pretty hard to get here in the winter time. There's a couple spots in the county, such as here, that um, you have a decent shot, but nice, uh, nice first of year for me. All right, we flushed a great blue heron, and we also had a hairy woodpecker and a pileated woodpecker, which completes all of the common woodpeckers for me for the county this year. Uh, Red-headed woodpeckers are fairly difficult to get, especially this time of year. This is the Susquehanna River, by the way, the west branch of the Susquehanna River. Well, we did one lap of Canfield Island. We didn't get Mockingbird, which was one we were hoping for, but uh, nice little walk. Not too birdy, but not the worst ever. I got three new species, yellow rump, hairy, and pileated for my county year list, so I was happy with that. But we're gonna head on out and uh, head to the next spot. All right, we just made it to the Williamsport Dam. I'm kind of hoping to get a peregrine falcon and maybe a new duck species would be nice too. Or even just some raptors flying overhead. Let's take a look and see what we can find. All right, we're just wrapping up here at the Williamsport Dam. Not too many ducks. There's a couple of mallards, a couple of buffalo heads, a couple of common mergansers and two hooded mergansers. No peregrine, so uh, nothing new here, but uh, we're gonna move on to the next spot. All right, it's just before 2 p.m. and look where we ended up. Robert Porter Allen Natural Area. If you missed yesterday's video of us birding here, make sure you check that out. Might not make this a long visit, just wanna check a few things. The water's probably frozen. Not sure if we'll have any ducks, but I brought my scope anyway. Let's see what we can find. All right, we found a little flock of birds. We had some American tree sparrows, a couple white crowned sparrows, a song sparrow, and we also had a swamp sparrow, which is a first of year for me. Uh, some chickadees and bluebirds as well. So I'm not sure if we'll continue on or not. This has been the best spot recently um, to get birds. Once you get too much farther into the loop, there hasn't been that much. All right, and we just had a field sparrow as well, which is a pretty good bird for the county in the winter. They can be a little tough to get. All right, we came out into the open up here to scan for raptors and we ended up with a decent total. We had eight black vultures, three bald eagles, and two red-tailed hawks, as well as at least one raven and some crows, so. Yeah, we've just been hanging out here, scanning the horizon, scanning up over the mountain, and seeing quite a bit off in the distance. Well, as we were walking out, we saw a hunter walking on the railroad tracks with a crossbow. So I'm not really sure what he's hoping to hunt in here because there's not really any animals, and uh, or why he's doing it in the middle of the day, or why he's here, but or why he was on the railroad tracks, but uh, very strange. All right, we just got to Indian Park Pond, and actually on the way in, we had a nice look at a heavily marked red tail. Now we're going to scan through the ducks and geese and see what we can find. Probably just Canada geese and mallards, maybe a few black ducks, but hopefully we'll get something different today.
All right, so we scanned through everything while we were in the car and didn't find anything different. There's three American black ducks, a bunch of mallards, um, a lot of Canada geese, which there were none here yesterday. So kind of neat to see a flock of geese drop in. Um, but we couldn't find any other ducks or any other geese or anything. Um, there's some white birds out there. They're just like domestic geese. So uh, we'll keep looking for another minute just to make sure we didn't overlook anything, but nothing different. I think that wraps up our birding for today. Thanks for coming along with us. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Good birding.